Hey, man, what is going on with Ryan Garcia, dog? What's going on with Ryan Garcia? So TMZ just reported Ryan Garcia got arrested at his hotel in Beverly Hills. That's Ryan Garcia right there, okay? He's wearing some weird helmet. I don't know what helmet that is. And he's arrested. They're take, the cops are taking him out. You can see his tattoo, and his back tattoo. So Ryan Garcia just got arrested. Now, today has been, like, on his Twitter, he was wilding today, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm a Ryan Garcia supporter. Let me read you the TMZ article. I'm a Ryan Garcia supporter, right? You know, I've been, I've been supporting Ryan Garcia ever since the Devin Haney fight, ever since the PD stuff. But just because I'm a Ryan Garcia supporter, just because I support, I'm, I'm a grown-up, bro. I don't just support people and agree with every single thing they do or say, bro. Right? Today, he said some stuff on Twitter that I think is just plain wrong, bro. I just, I'll show you in a minute. But let me read you the TMZ article on why Ryan Garcia got arrested, okay? So, <clears throat> tells us Ryan was taken into a, a Beverly Hills Police Department to a local hospital for evaluation and treatment and to our knowledge may be charged with public intoxication, okay? That's, that's the first sentence, okay? Ryan Garcia was arrested for felony vandalism at the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills Saturday afternoon, which is today. And TMZ Sports has video of the superstar boxer being led away by cops in handcuffs. That's the video I just showed you. Law enforcement sources tell us the boxer was arrested and taken into custody after he allegedly damaged property at the hotel, including his room and the hallway. In California, damage over 400 bucks, 400 bucks can be considered a felony, which is the craziest thing. I'm from California. I'm from Los Angeles, bro. This hotel is like 30 minutes away from me. You know what's crazy? In California, any damage over 400 can be considered a felony. But you could steal up to 900 bucks. That's how crazy California is. It's nuts, bro. Hey, listen. I love California, bro. West side for life, bro. Like, west side for life. I can't even do the west side. West side for life, bro. I'm from Los Angeles. I, I love California, bro. I'm, all my family is here. Everyone is here. My everything is here. But this place is a little weird, man. I'm not going to lie, okay? We obtained, okay, the 21, hold up, hold up. Where was I? Okay, $400 can be considered a felony. We obtained video showing Beverly Hills police walking Garcia out of the Waldorf and to, to a squad car. While you can't see Garcia's face, is covered by a helmet. Ryan's large uh, back tattoo are visible. The 21 25 and 1 fighter uh, who were told was seemingly under the influence of alcohol and or drugs complied with authorities and went peacefully. Eyewitnesses tell us that they saw nearly a dozen cop cars outside the hotel, presumably responding to the incident. It's not the first time Garcia has had an alleged incident at a high-priced hotel. On Wednesday, which is a couple days ago, a few days ago, police responded to the Waldorf for, uh, Waldorf for a welfare check after one of Ryan Garcia's family members feared he might need assistance. Our sources told RG, Ryan Garcia seemed okay, and the cops left. Later in the night, we were told Ryan Garcia acted out, and the hotel cut him off from drinking. Ryan was photographed walking with his brother and uh, the following day, and nothing appeared out of the ordinary. That's it. And then he goes, he beat Ryan, he beat Devin Haney, uh, and then he just says a couple other things. But yeah, dog, so on Wednesday, one of his family members, I'm sure you guys saw it, called the cops for a welfare check. They came, checked on him, and they left. And that night, also on Wednesday, he was acting out. The hotel had to cut off his alcohol. Look, guys, any of you guys that think like all these, when he goes crazy on tweets, right? Well, you guys, I'm sure you follow him on Twitter. That's alcohol. That I'm sure he drinks a lot, bro. I've drank a lot. I've blacked out. I've been young. I've blacked out. I've done the craziest stuff. When you mix alcohol, like Ryan Garcia has a lot of money, right? I know he was complaining today, he's saying, oh, pay me. I guess I guess he still hasn't been paid for his fight versus Devin Haney. Devin Haney hasn't also. But the guy is living a rock star lifestyle, which in my opinion, <clears throat> like, I've never been in his situation. I've never had his money. I've never had his success. But 
he I don't think he has anyone in his life. Like a like a like a father figure. I know he has his dad, but I can't see his dad being that type of person to check his son. Okay, I don't even this is just my opinion. It doesn't even seem like Ryan Garcia respects his dad, bro. Like he needs someone in his life to say, hey dog, you're throwing everything away. Drop the alcohol, drop the craziness. Drop all this, bro. You're throwing your career away. Like, the perfect person would be Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya has done some crazy stuff in his life, too. I'm sure if you follow boxing, you've seen the stuff Oscar De La Hoya has done. The stuff he wore. He, he, was, he was on cocaine. He was on alcohol. Like, he went through it. Like, where is Oscar De La Hoya right now, bro? Like, why isn't Oscar De La Hoya grabbing Ryan Garcia, taking him to the side, side saying, Hey, bro. You have the world in your hands. Why are you throwing away, throwing it away? And and uh, and this this situation that just happened, this this arrest that just happened. I don't know how crazy it was. It's saying damages, right? Like I don't think he broke a vase or or some little stuff, dog. I know it's saying anything above four hundred dollars. In my opinion. In order for the cops to come take you, especially someone like Ryan Garcia, bro, in order for the cops, the cops to come take you, I'm pretty sure some crazy stuff happened, man. I don't know. I'm just assuming. But I hope Ryan Garcia is okay, man. Okay? I hope Ryan Garcia is okay because all this acting out is just nuts, bro. Now, check this out. This is what happened on Twitter today, which I'm so against, bro. I am so freaking against this the other day there's this guy on twitter okay he's a big boxing fan he's funny too man his name is ray jackson okay he's like big on twitter he's a big boxing guy you know his name is ray jackson the other day uh ryan garcia said ray jackson is a p-e-d-o which is one of the worst things you could call someone right now if they are that call them as much as you want shame them but it's a bad thing to call someone P-E-D-O if they're not that. And then when I saw the tweet, I'm like, what the hell is he talking about, Ray Jackson? Is this? Today, this is what he this is what Ryan Garcia posted. I told you Ray Jackson was a P-E-D-O, right? And he showed this uh, arrest. He showed this arrest. He's from Texas, right? He showed this arrest, 5th District of Texas, Raymond Charles Jackson Jr., right? Raymond Charles Jackson Jr. was convicted of aggravated sexual assault of a child, which is, they should, wh like, whoever does stuff like this should burn in hell. I know Ryan Garcia always says, protect the children, protect the children. I'm with it 100%. Now, when I saw this, I'm like, I told one of my friends that I talked to on Twitter, I'm like, dog, Ray is like, he was, Ryan Garcia was being true about this. Now, I did a little digging. There's not much to dig, right? There's not much to dig. Other people did the digging for me and for you and for everyone else. This isn't the same Ray Jackson, bro. This isn't the same guy, bro. This isn't the same guy. Look, someone said, Ray gonna sue you, which I'm pretty sure he will. This is like the craziest thing you could do to someone at, when it's not true. Look, if you smart, just keep collecting. Oh, he's talking to Ray. Look. This is someone else. This is another Ray Jackson that's 62 years old, okay? That's 62 years old, and, it, and he's been in jail. He's been in prison, as in is going to be released in 2028, okay? I looked it up a little. I went and read the arrest. This isn't the Ray Jackson, bro. This isn't the same Ray Jackson. And Ryan Garcia is out here just tweeting and calling Ray P-E-D-O. Look, but I'm a liar. I got receipts, little kids. Even if you grown man, you are a little boy to me. I'm sorry you defend PEDOs. I don't. I don't think anyone is defending PEDOs, bro. You should burn in hell, dog. If you are a PEDO, you should burn in hell, dog. Times a million. But Ryan Garcia clearly has the wrong guy. Look, I'm about to send Ray Jackson to hell. I want to get sued. Now, Ray Jackson, after saw this, he's like, dog, this isn't me. And he talked about suing Ryan Garcia. This is, the, this is like the easiest lawsuit, in my opinion. I'm not a lawyer. But Ryan Garcia said this. I want to get sued to see if, if they really like that. Y'all defend PEDOs, and it's sad. Kids, babies getting touched, and you choose to support that. I got real evidence, and that's okay. I don't know who he's talking about. 
but I'm pretty sure he's drunk. This is today. This is the arrest, right? This is maybe a few hours before. Ray Jackson, the guy he's talking about, everyone is disgusting. Um, Fs, trying to hide their wrongs. And then he goes, they touch little kids and, they, and then hide it with lies and money and then run for their dear life. I don't give a F. They try to accuse me of their wrongs. You won't find nothing on me. It wouldn't, have, it wouldn't be released because they can't. They like, they will like AI. And he goes, I hate liars. And he goes, Drea is a liar. Drea, I, I believe, is his ex-wife. It's his baby mama. But, dude, he keeps saying people are, you guys are defending PEDOs. Who, who's defending PEDOs, bro? All we're saying, this is what a lot of people are saying. Now, if you go in the comments, a lot of people believe Ryan Garcia. This is why this is a wrong thing to do. Calling someone a PDO when they're not is the craziest thing to do, bro. Crazy. This is the internet. And Ryan Garcia is one of the most famous people. Imagine how many people went up to Ray Jackson's Twitter account and commented, hey, bro, you do this, you're sick F, you're sick F. But if you do a little digging, it's not the same guy, bro. And now Ray Jackson on his Twitter account is talking about suing Ryan Garcia. People are telling him, hey, bro, this is the craziest lawsuit. You're going to win a lot of money. All because Ryan Garcia is just blowing off, bro. He's just saying all this crazy stuff. In my opinion, he's saying it while he's drunk. And this is, I can't, I can't side with this. It doesn't matter. I've been, I've been supporting him when it comes to the PEDs, bro. I hope PEDs, video, not the same thing. It doesn't matter I've been supporting him when it comes to the Austrian. It doesn't matter. I can't support this, bro. Even if I don't like Ray Jackson, which I have no problem with him. I think he's funny. He's good. He's, he says some funny stuff. He's a tank fan. Like, I like, I like Ray Jackson. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with him, bro. But Ryan Garcia has been going off on him, calling him a PDO, and posting another arrest with the same name, another guy with the same name, and it's not the same guy, it's not, this isn't the guy, bro, so this is completely wrong, I hope Ryan Garcia gets help, I truly hope Ryan Garcia gets help, I truly, like, like, he's throwing it away, dog, in my opinion, he's throwing this away, and it, it sucks, man, look, everyone's posting Ryan Garcia getting arrested for felony uh, vandalism, we gotta, we gotta see, we gotta see the details, obviously, but, like, I know Ryan Garcia will most likely come out of jail or wherever and say he's being set up, right? That's, that's been his game plan. But, dog, come on, man. Come on. And there's people that believe him, bro. There's people, like, there's a lot of stuff that Ryan Garcia says that I believe. That I believe. But I don't believe him blindly. I don't believe him blindly. Like, like you know when he said on June 6th there's going to be a bad earthquake in Los Angeles? I'm from Los Angeles. June 6th was two days ago. Do you guys know in California, there is an earthquake every single day. Like if you go on Google and put California earthquakes today, it's going to show you a couple earthquakes, small ones. And on June 6th, there was a couple small earthquakes. And people were like, oh my God, look, he predicted it. No, dog. All you did is predict the water is wet. Okay, In California, there's earthquakes every day, almost every day, bro. So... I hope Ryan Garcia's good, bro. Like, I truly hope so, man. What he did to Devin Haney, man, that win, that underdog win was amazing. But stuff like this, bro, he's just throwing it away, in my opinion, man. And I hope there's someone in his life that could pull him aside. Like, someone like Oscar De La Hoya. He's been through all this stuff, bro. Pull him aside and say, hey, dog, stop, man. Put that alcohol down. If you're going to drink alcohol, drink once in a while, man. And I don't even know if he's doing drugs. Drink once in a while. But you got to chill out, man. You're throwing your career away but let me know what you think of this in the comments man what do you think about this whole arrest situation let me know what you think of this in the comments it'll mean the world to me if you like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification. thank you so much for watching